I got a three ounce weight here and a 12 pound tested uh, monofilament line to a uh, size one hook. Now, let me go um, dig up some sand crabs. See, if you guys see, once the water recedes and there's like little lumps, a batch of little lumps on the sand, that's a good sign of sand crabs. Look, look, it's all a sand crab here. Quite windy. I spent almost four hours and nothing was caught. Well, no fish was caught. So I decided to go for sand crabs and do a catch and cook sand crabs. Catch up the day, not going home stuck. Using the very basic how sand crab tastes. Okay. On the look of it, they don't look too bad. I think it's ready. Let me uh Final product. Smells very shrimpy, like weird shrimpy. Yeah, I think I need some water first. <laughs> Doesn't smell it's appetizing, that's for sure. Yeah, it smells very shrimpy. The small one first. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I taste a lot of sea. I, I get a lot of seasoning, and then like shrimp beef flavor. It's kind of like eating a uh, shrimp cracker almost. Gonna eat a bigger one. Maybe not. <laughs> no. <coughs> At first, the flavor is all like seasoning flavor. That then you get the shrimp beef flavor, and then after that, you, there's a slight of creaminess of some sort that's coming from the middle of the sand crab. I don't think I want to eat more. Mm, super crunchy. I think that concludes today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I don't think I would recommend you guys trying this out unless you're the adventurous ones. So yeah, um, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Goodbye now. I'll feed the rest of this to the chickens.